Um, okay, so uh, the other ruler that we're going to use in your pattern making classes is what's called the grading ruler. So this is the grading ruler here. Um, so essentially, like its name suggests, it's actually designed to do manual grading. However, what we use it for um, predominantly is adding of seam allowances. It's not a set square. So whenever you want to create a 90 degree angle, you should be using the set square from the previous videos. So if we just um, come in a bit with our camera angle, we, we, can, we can see um, that the ruler is made up of heavy lines. Okay, so we've got them going here, 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 and then in the other direction. So each uh, heavy line is equals one centimetre. The littler squares, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five made up between the two heavier, equal two centimetres squared, two, sorry, two millimetres squared. So we've got a centimetre here to here and each little square is two millimetres. Okay. Yeah, that's it, Jane, come out. Okay, so I'm going to show you again using the uh, skirt block as an example. This is the back skirt block from our first video. Um, how to actually add seam allowance. So let's say for instance, okay, so first of all you line um, your grading ruler up with the seam that you want to put seam allowance on and then you decide, so you move it. So in this example I want to put one centimetre seam allowance onto this edge here. So I'm going to move my ruler and put my seam line in line with the one centimetre here. Okay, so that's that first heavy line. And then you simply add it to the edge. And then this area from here to here now becomes one centimetre. Okay, now if we are going to go around curved lines, again, you put your ruler on to the one centimetre. Now you can't do it, obviously the rule is straight. Okay, so you can either do it with dotted lines, okay, like that, and you can join them when you cut out. Obviously, sorry, my text is bleeding a little bit. Or the other alternative is to use your set square. If you just come out a little bit. Okay, so first of all, you would find um, a position on your ruler that matches the curve of the seam line and then you would mark one centimetre out and then you've already got the one centimetre here so then you could just move your ruler out following that line and then join it back in. Okay so you can see how that's another way to give you a continuous line. So this, this works if you can find a spot on your ruler but otherwise you can use that dotted method because then you can just join them when you cut them out. Okay, so one centimetre is very easy. So again, if you want to add hem allowance, okay, so hem allowances on a straight line like this are often of greater value than the seam allowances. So for this example, let's add a three centimetre hem. Okay, so I want to first go one, okay, so that would give me one centimetre, two, three, okay. Oops, just got to make sure you hold it in line. So you can see it's a very, very quick way of adding those seam allowances. So again, maybe in the back we'll add two, just so you can sort of see the difference. So I would first put my ruler in line, then move over one, two. So you can see how it's a very um, even way of doing that. So you either work, so straight lines, obviously it's very easy, okay? And working with the curve, it's either the dotting method or giving yourself strategic points and then using, oops, using the ruler to find the right position and moving it out. Okay, so that's basically all you need to know about the grading ruler.